So here we have the Agros T40. We want to have the first flight with this drone uh, to turn on the remote controller. We press and press once. I'm sorry, uh, we press once, then we press and hold. So this is a good way to have your antennas or if you want, you can just make it like that. This is good too, right? And the next thing we want to do is to turn on the drone. Turn on the drone, we make sure this is secured in place. We press once, we press and hold. Now the drone is powered on, we make sure all of the arms are locked. Check the propellers, they are all looking good. There is no broken propeller. Everything seems to be fine. So, what we can do is that right now we will keep distance from the drone. It's recommended to uh, be at least about 10 meters away. So we will go away from the drone. So here we press begin. And you can see that the manual GPS mode is set, everything is set. Yeah. So if we want to turn on the drone, what we do is that we will bring these two down. So the motors are on, but, and if I want to turn them off, I will pull this down. I don't touch the right one. So I turn off the motors. Turning them on one more time. Aircraft preparing to take off. Stand back at a safe distance. Take off and turning them off. Before taking off, I would like to uh, manually turn on the sprayers. You can see that. And I will press and hold to get rid of any air in the system. So, and then I will press one more time. You can see now it's a spray. Over here, you can change the Droplet size, if you want it coarse, medium, fine, extra fine, extra coarse, you have that and that controls the spinner. So for now we set it as what it is uh, as default. We turn on the drone, turn power on the motors, then we do not touch the right one, we move this one all the way up, right? And that will help us take off. The front of the drone is like that you see like that omnidirectional ob obstacle avoidance radar is at the front of the drone the battery is at the back so if our remote is like that and i move this forward the drone will go forward but after takeoff my plan is to turn the drone by moving this clockwise then the f drone will be at the same direction as i am so i will turn on the motors Then I will take off.
this is definitely it feels different um, than previous models it's much more responsive to the remote controller before like they were much um, more gentle I would say but as you know uh, we will be flying this drone mostly automatic so uh, I will end this manual operation I will and here I will try to increase the brightness so we go back this is the camera view uh, so I will go I will press back here and let's see Okay, I clicked on the M. Now I would be like, okay, I want to create a route like this one. Payload capacity exists. Make yeah, okay. That's the battery level is low. I'll do AB. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we set it to one gallon per acre. Flight speed. 18.9 rat so I will increase that a little bit to three gallons per acre and the height 9.8 is fine rat spacing everything looks fine so I will set this but I want to go add some uh, more water for this test use the AB routing first I will take off go to point A then point B and I will choose a direction then the drone automatically will start spraying so to turn on um, so actually we can step back a little bit more still a little dusty here so to turn on the motors or arm them. Aircraft preparing to take off. Stand back at a safe to take distance. off. Take off. Full throttle. Then we go forward. We choose this point as point A. Then we go forward. We choose this as Point B. B point set successfully. So then we say start and we slide to execute. Start task. So this drone, uh, despite the other previous models, it's not going forward and backward to spray. It goes, for example, forward, sprays, then it turns, and again it goes forward. Now we have battery warning because our battery reached the low percent. So to return to home I will press this H button and hold it. Paused. Now the drone is coming RTH. back home automatically.
So this was uh, a demonstration of our Agress T40 on manual mode and uh, AB routing mode. It was just a simple demonstration with water. Uh, and we will have more videos for you.